Welcome to another episode of Good Cooking. And today we're making a recipe that we recently came up with. Are we the originators? We have no idea, but it's one of our favorites. It's teriyaki steak nigiri. Now listen, you can certainly make your own marinade. God bless you, I'm not doing it. Cause I like to make this meal quick and easy. I use a store-bought brand called Soy Ve. All right, you throw this over the steak, you marinate it for a little while, a couple of hours, the longer the better. You wanna do it a little longer? Not gonna do anything, but make it even more enjoyable. Once you have that done, you bring it out of the fridge about a half hour to 40 minutes before you're gonna grill it. Then we're gonna go outside to our grill, which I got about 450 to 475 degrees. You wanna get that grill nice and hot before you throw that steak on. And when you throw it on, you're gonna do about three, three and a half minutes on each side, and it's done. See how gloriously pink that is on the inside? If it's any more well done than this, throw it in the trash. All right, you knuckleheads, once the steak is done, you're gonna bring it in. You don't wanna leave it outside. If you live in a city like I do, the homeless people will be eating in about 15 minutes. Now, we're gonna serve this over rice. However, every time I do rice, I fuck it up. So that's why I give it to someone who is an absolute pro at making rice. That's my beautiful wife, Lindsay. Lindsay, let them know how to make this rice. So I love sushi rice, specifically the sushi rice from Sugarfish, and this rice tastes exactly like theirs. Those of you who don't know what Sugarfish is, it's because you're broke. Okay. Sugarfish overrated or underrated? Perfectly rated. Uh, yeah. Sugarfish is fantastic. However, I will say to the people of Sugarfish, your atmosphere sucks. Listen, you need to spruce it up a little bit. You gotta play better music. There needs to be a little bit more care for certain things, but the food is exquisite. All you do is take your rice and some filtered water, put it in your rice maker, set it on the white rice setting. That's gonna cook for about 20 to 25 minutes. And then as soon as that's done, we're gonna open up our rice maker and we're gonna drizzle seasoned rice vinegar over the rice and gently fold that in. We wanna serve our rice on our plate while it's still hot. I like to take it out, put it in my rice form, and then for this particular recipe, over the top of the rice, we're gonna drizzle a little toasted sesame oil. And then we put our steak right on top of that. And it is one of my favorite things to eat. That's why I don't do rice. Too many damn steps and it's a science. At least for me it is. All right? Man the grill. The reason why this is one of our favorite dishes is because it combines two of Lindsay and I's favorite things. We're like the Spice Girls, when two become one with this dish. We got prime cut, skirt steak, marinated in teriyaki, and Lindsay's sushi rice. And when they come together, they create a great couple, much like Lindsay and I. Now I know a lot of you out there are hearing sushi rice and skirt steak and you're like, I got no time for that. This sounds tedious and very time consuming. It's not, it's easy. All you need to do is get good ingredients, have a little bit of love, and you can make yourself a restaurant quality dish in a matter of an hour. By the way, if you're wondering where we have some of these fancy things like a sushi form, it's on our Amazon shop, along with all the other shit that we went broke on. If you want that link, click it in the bio. And as always, the recipe is in the description below. And from our house to yours, bon appetit. We call it hot nigiri steak rice no no that might have been an all-time worst steak that was bad <laughs> did you not like my suggestion which was what 